Welcome to this short tutorial on laying the MagnaRail channeling and installing the chain. As you may be aware if you've watched a few of my installations, I like to work with insulation foam board. I lay out my track plan and router a pathway for the plastic channel to be inserted. This helps uh, with noise reduction but also ensures a perfectly flat surface for laying the roadbed. The MagnaRail system is a finely engineered system and whilst my installations are not true to the original spirit of MagnaRail's inventors who secured the channeling to a baseboard and then built up the surrounds uh, to create a level uh, area for the roadbed uh, to be overlaid. This is still the main installation um, method if you are setting up Magna Rail on an existing layout. I however use insulation foam board for my roadbed construction and a router a recess for the channeling to slot into. As I can get a precise gap and height I've no need of securing it with screws or adhesives as the top of the channel is perfectly flush with the road surface and by securing the road in place this keeps everything in tight and secure. So my first task is to remove all the side screw holes and reed switch holders and then slot the channel in place. Sometimes when you're building a track you find that the channel might be too short or even that's even using the smaller sections supplied on each screw. The solution is to cut a section to fit perfectly. In my case the slot holds the new section in place. I still secure it with some adhesive underneath to ensure the channel stays smooth and offers no catch points. Do not get glue on the inside of the channel. The blue chain comes on a sprue of 12 links with 5 different sizes and configurations and their code is imprinted on the central spine of the sprue. After cutting the links off I sort them into containers with a section for each letter uh, as you'll need to join them in various combinations to suit the ready to run bicycles and sliders. Once cut from the sprue you will still have some rough edges uh, that need cleaning off. I just use a piece of sandpaper and drag the edges across it until it is nicely rounded so there are no catch points. If not done properly the links will not rotate freely and can jam your chain so always check that there is freedom of movement when linking the chain together. Then it's just a matter of connecting the uh, links, making sure that the rounded edge of the link is facing the direction your chain will travel. So that's how it works at optimum efficiency. The system will run in reverse, but it's been designed to work with the rounded sections leading. Thanks for watching. Next tutorial will be on putting the drive assembly together something that everyone needs to know. Thank you for watching. Bye.